castle to castle, the fair to come to park. And um, <laughs> so he really just travels through. It's all right. like your ears were practically pressed against the curtains, listening to someone's... Great sakes, actually. Look, if you want to be spies, you need to get better at it. You need to hide behind tapestries. What else do you think they're for? Well, it was a very interesting conversation there, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Well, those people there were talking about the succession. They said they supported Geoffrey. Mm. Well, Geoffrey should not be trusted. He is a deceiver and a dissembler. He should not be let anywhere near the throne of England, I assure you. You know who the perfect candidate is? Why don't you tell us? I'm going to. Richard! Richard is the man you want for your king. Richard is a great warrior. He's a great patron of the arts. He would make a fine king of this country, I tell you he would. Right, well, you don't like... Jeffrey, you do like Richard. Yes. What do you think of John? Blech, disgusting. I hate the name John. John is awful. I mean, John is a joke. Uh, John, if you made John your king, I dare say, the first thing he'd do is lose all your territories in France. He would be a complete disaster for this country. And um, the funny thing I know about John, actually, do you like gossip? You like gossip? Oh, come on, you love like gossip, don't you? Do you want to hear some gossip? Children, push to the front so you can hear this gossip. And I'll just check there's not some child staring at the bottom. Let me through. <laughs> you know what the gossip is? Because no one has a kind word to say about John. He's paying people to do just that for him. So he's going around finding people, paying them off to say compliments and nice things about them. In fact, I saw him doing it on the roof earlier today. He was there paying this low-life merchant to say good things about him. In fact, if you go there now, I dare say you'll still see him in the act. Oh, well, I must say, gossiping with you has been exhausting. So I'm going to leave you here. I'm sorry. Oh, how dare you? What a suggestion! No, I'm not paid at all. Look, this is not a question and answer session. What do you want? Here, as I said, I'm very tired. I'm just going to go have a little nap here, and I'm going to leave you. This conversation is really bad. Go away, you suspicious man. Read it out. It says Richard is one of the finest generals this country has ever seen. You no, are comparing him to Alexander the Great. Some people are even referring him to as the Conqueror's Lion, the Lion, the Lion, and it says it's by Katie. I thought I had a very deliberately by this man. Look, it's more praise of Richard, and he clearly wants us to think that Richard is the most faithful of them all. Do we believe that? Yeah. No. Can 